One of the stranger theories out there is called Jesus mysticism. This is the belief that Jesus never existed. And how strange would it be if the single most influential person in the history of the world, doesn't matter what your belief structure is, uh, you would have to agree with that, I think. How strange it would be if he never actually existed. People often say, well, there's no historical references to this Jesus. And the fact of the matter is, that's just not true. Josephus makes two references to him, and certainly one of them has been doctored by some Christian scribes somewhere along the line. But the, the basic gist of the passage clearly says that there was a person named Jesus. In terms of secular writings, we actually have six. In the non-biblical sources who are Roman is Pliny the Younger, Suetonius, Tacitus, and Thallus. In terms of Greek writers, it's Lucy and Samoseta, and Mara ben Serapion. So we actually do have references, historical references, outside of the Bible to the existence of Jesus. In fact, if you go through and you add up all the different things that these secular sources tell us about Jesus, it's actually a pretty extensive list. And here they are. Jesus lived. Jesus was Jewish. He lived in the first third of the first century. Some people believe he had been born out of wedlock, that his ministry overlapped with John's, that Jesus did, quote, wondrous feats. He gathered disciples. He was in conflict with the Jewish authorities. Some people said he was a sorcerer who led Israel astray. Some people believe that he was the Messiah. He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. One Jewish tradition says that he was hung we know from these historical references that Jesus' followers believed he was raised from the dead and they worship him as a god. And finally, we know that his brother James was martyred in AD 62. Now, given all of that historical evidence, it's really a, a bit of a mystery to me how anyone could say there's no historical references to the person of Jesus Christ. This is one of the topics that I cover in my book, Why I Trust the Bible and encourage you to pick up the book and read the details of this argument for yourself.